Okay, hi everyone. A lot of you last time I was doing solar cooking asked what are the different types of solar cookers and why would I use one over another? So I set all of mine out in the backyard probably about an hour ago. I'm gonna put sunglasses on as I'm doing this just because there's so much reflectivity that goes on. Every now and then I'll turn and it hits me in the eyes. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this first one. I actually have meatballs cooking in there for today. This is called a Solivore. It's really light. You can see, look at, easy to pick up, okay? This one does a pretty good job of temperature this time of year. Sun angle is so high that it's pretty easy to get that warmed up um, within a short period of time. This one is for the home chef that wants something that is not like really industrial. This is a really good one. This is a sun oven. And as you can see, these panels just shut down here. So it's really easy to set up. It's a little heavier because it's got the wood frame on it. But you know, again, it's just, you open it up and then heats up. This one's up to 325 degrees. Okay. Now Kelly, if you would come around the back here, this is really important on this one. Okay. So the sun angle changes throughout the year, right? So right now we're at one of the peak sun angles where it's high in the sky. That happens on the summer solstice, but this one is adjustable. Okay. So as the sun angle starts to get lower in the sky, what's nice, is that you can just move that peg down to as high as you want this to tilt to get that lower sun angle as we get closer to the winter solstice okay so that's like i said for the home chef pretty industrial all right so come back around this way so we can show this one this one's called the hot pot and it's a little harder to find there are some places that are still selling it but basically you can put like a whole stew in there or rice and beans um, meatballs are also great in there, a whole chicken, put some veggies on the bottom. This is a great one. And again, time of year, important. You only want to use this closer to the summer solstice. And then this one is great. This has been used worldwide in refugee camps and things. It's called the, um, cook it. And so what you do is you put the, you put the pot right there, but it does require an oven bag. So you actually have to put your pot inside the oven bag because that's what contains the heat. Basically, here's the principles that we're trying to achieve. We're trying to get the reflection of the sun. We're reflecting it into our container and then we cap it so that we keep that heat inside. Okay, so there's my array of solar cookers. <laughs> Hopefully that's been instructional. If you have any more questions, feel free to just comment below. I'm happy to answer anything that uh, you need answered. Thanks.